Okay, Jesus people, tonight I am talking about spirits. Okay, so originally God created angels and the angels that fell were the demons, right? So God created them individual. All of the angels were individual personalities. And so there's really, what's the difference between a demon and an angel? Okay, the only thing different is their heart because they chose pride and they wanted to become like God and they want to be God basically instead of letting God be God and their pride made them fall they wouldn't bow to God and so their personalities are individuals just like the angels are individuals and they're called principalities and powers and they rule over earth um, earth got defaulted to the principalities and powers and high places when man fell uh, it was earth was originally intended that God gave to man but man fell and so Satan is the ruler of the principalities and powers of earth. Now you know that because uh, he fell to earth when God threw him out of heaven. And Satan did. He took a third of the angels. And so also he said to Jesus, um, if you throw yourself down and bow to me, I will give you the kingdoms of earth, basically showing that they were his to give. And so what did they say to how to pray to Jesus? Jesus said, well, this is how you're to pray. His disciples asked um, that you pray down God's will from heaven onto earth. See, being that God's will isn't necessarily being done on earth right now um, it, because it's, it belongs to darkness. See, we're born into darkness and fear. Uh, we're born into the kingdom of darkness and fear. And we need to be born again into the kingdom of light. We're physically born into the kingdom of darkness and fear, but we need to be born again into the kingdom of light and love, which is God. And so one is a physical birth and one is a spiritual birth. And so anyway, the principalities and powers, um, basically they run earth and they do whatever they want because they have free will, just like people have free will and angels have free will. And their will is to do evil because it's the adversary of the devil that seeks, that prowls around seeking whom he can destroy is what the Bible says. Um, he sits before God day and night and he, um, he basically complains about the saints. That's what God's. That's what the Bible says. Um, he basically um, he is our adversary, the devil, and he just complains about man all the time. And so, the what the Bible says is that um, now these principalities and powers. Now remember, they also God also can use them the way He wants to. Okay, He's going to use them in Revelation to destroy things destroy the earth, um, bring plagues, and so he's a, it's the destroyer, okay, he lets Satan out when he decides to, look in Revelations, and so, um, anyway, also if you read about Saul, uh, if you read about uh, Saul in the Old Testament, the king, he became evil in his heart, and his spirit came and would bother him, unless David played the harp. So these spirits don't, when they come, they don't always stay with the person. They can come and go. They have an individual personality and they have free will. And so they don't have to stay. They can come and go and they can torment a person. They don't, they're not always there. They can come and go. And this is what happened to Saul, King Saul. The um, demon came and tormented him. And when David came and played, it would soothe um, Saul and the spirit would withdraw and then he would come back when he felt like it so also with Paul in the New Testament there was a spirit that God allowed um, that would afflict him so that it would keep him humble because Paul was so he could have been so prideful because he was uh, one of the top um, Romans and he was very devout and he was full of knowledge and also God gave him great knowledge of heaven and, and of Jesus Christ and so he could have become very proud and so it kept him humble so it's interesting how God uses these spirits for um, what he wants his will to be and in the end people will laugh at the little man they call him the little man okay that um, tormented earth uh, read rebel that's in revelations that's referring to Satan um, so anyway, those some ideas about spirits. Uh, also, angels, you know, walk the earth. So, and one day we might even just, it says to be a good host or hostess because you might entertain angels unaware. In other words, you can't really tell the difference between them and people, which is kind of interesting.